Hi my friends, I just wanted to show you uh, a very little quick thing that I'm working on here. Um, I'd like to get your opinion, if you don't mind. I want to show you about my frames. Um, I'm working on a new type of frame and I really like it and I'd like to get your opinion and I'd like to just explain to you how I go about, about making my frames and the process behind it. You know, might find it interesting, get some hints and tips. So I'd like to show you what I made just down here. Um, let's take a look, see what you think. I'd like to get your opinion on this. So this is the Parrot tutorial I just finished. Um, this is a new frame which I just made. It's a new type of frame that I'm thinking about using. Um, I really like it. It's a kind of a floating frame where the canvas sits on a board behind. And you can see the raised profile there on the frame. Um, this is something I just put together there while I go. It only took about 30 minutes. Um, but I quite like it. I think it's kind of different. Um, it kind of it kind of makes the painting jump off of the frame and it's kind of floating in the center. There's a bit of a gap all the way around. You see that? Um, this is my normal frame that I use. You can see there's a bit of a nice little design going along here and this piece then is going down at an angle. So this really tends to kind of stand from the wall. Now that's quite nice. I like that frame as well, but the only problem with these frames is they stand very proud. They stand very far out from the wall. So if I show you the back of that, just see how far that comes from the wall. It's about two inches. Whereas this one will sit flat against the wall and you'll have your canvas or your painting in the middle then like so. Now, I think that's quite nice. I'm kind of going more towards this frame. I think I might try it on a few paintings to see if they sell. Um, I could always just paint the front of this in black or something as well, um, just as an accent. It's much more difficult to paint these outside pieces without making a mistake because of all these different angles and curves and stuff like that whereas something like this i think might work easier uh, so look i'm going to explain to you very quickly how i made this frame now i have a profile of it here made okay and what it simply is is a piece of two by one or one by two whichever part of the world you're living in so two by one simple flat um, smooth two by one. What I did was, if you see this L shape, I just used my router and I routed with the router. I went in a little bit and I went all the way along the whole length of this two by one. And I took out that little L shape. I just took it all out with the router and that's the outside piece finished. Okay. I then took a little piece of MDF. So I cut strips of this MDF with my circular saw. Um, they're about an inch and a half wide. So I cut lots of strips of this and then I simply glue it down into this little rebate here. You see? A bit of glue. And I glued it down. And then I simply mitre the edges to make this frame. Okay? So it's very simple. See what I mean? So it gives you that nice depth, I think. And the painting sits on top of this then, you see? So that is what I was trying. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions, what you think is nicer, because I can't decide. Uh, to be honest, there is a lot more work in a frame like this, with these angles and all these little grooves and stuff like that. It's a huge amount of work. Now, okay, they are lovely frames, um, but I think something simple like this is very minimalist, and I think it would go a lot more on most walls. Um, I know a lot of people like this kind of floating type of frame where the painting just sits inside the rebate. So you can kind of get a better view of it there now sitting down inside the rebate, you see? I think that's kind of, um, it's very eye-catching. Now, the only disadvantage with this is I would have to paint along the edges of the canvas as well. Um, so you can see it there now finished. Now, this just needs a couple of more coats of paint, but I thought... It would be nice to share this with you um, just to get your opinion and get some um, ideas from yourself, some hints and tips. So um, that's it, my friends. There is the wonderful tutorial I finished on Patreon. Isn't that gorgeous? Something like that, even in one of these frames, I think now would look very nice with maybe just a black strip around the edge just to set it off nicely. Um, you know, let me know your thoughts. But I love this. This is really nice, isn't it? It really stands out. 
Um, so that's it, my friends. I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you don't mind. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions or any ways I could improve on these frames. I'd love to hear your opinion. Thank you very much. I'll see you very, very soon on YouTube for another tutorial. Take care, my friends.